that you have an offer page, you have an order page, you have an upsell page. Oh, that's what that is, right? The order page is where people put their name and their credit card number and all that stuff. They click on the buy button, right? Then. Hey, my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here. And today we're going to talk about the creating a sales funnel in Digital Mentor Hub. Now, when I say sales funnel, I'm talking specifically of a funnel that has something you're selling. And um, we're maybe going to talk about uh, um, order bumps and upsells as well. But, you know, versus a funnel that just has like an opt-in page on it, right? Uh, just put an email or whatever. We're actually going to be selling a product, right? So there's lots of things to consider for that. And uh, we're going to talk about that, uh, get into that in just a second. Okay, but first this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so Digital Mentor is another platform. It's based uh, actually on Go High Level. It's just one of those things where you can, uh, as a as a, a leader, you can have a subscription that you can give away kind of to your to your tribe, and they've done that, which is amazing because it's really, really, really a big lot. It can do lots of things and. And but you know, like anything else, it's a new thing to learn, so you got to kind of learn the ways that that particular platform works. So, we're going to talk about that before we do that, though. I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at cis495.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you exactly how to do that. You'll be able to follow along, uh, you know, pause the video and everything else to gun, kind of go from one step to the next. And uh, so, yeah, go check that out. All right. Let's get right to it. I'm going to share my screen and show you what I'm talking about. So, this is a funnel, right? Isn't that cute, right? So you got a I just did that with um with my fingers on on the computer screen. So this is the offer. Let's say you have an offer, right? So basically you're selling a product, you're selling a course. For me, what we're going to be doing, we're going to go live and I'm going to actually going to create my funnel for um well, I'm thinking active group users clicky course or but let's do let's do actually you know what I'm going to do the click e-course one right so click e-course uh plan where you can say I want to have a, a you know a plan I want to buy the plan you know 97 bucks a month or 50 bucks a month or whatever right we're going to do that we're going to talk about that so you have your offer page then you then which is basically a page that says hey do you want to do do you want to get this this is this is what it does this is what other people are saying about it you know testimonial those all those good things and then they click the buy now button or one of the buy now buttons depending on how you want to do it but we're just going to do one buy now button and then it goes to the order page which is this one right here where they actually have to uh actually no that's not what we're going to do we're going to do right here we're going to do a freebie uh, but anyways the point is that you have an offer page you have an order page you have an upsell page oh that's what that is right the order page is where people put their name and their credit card number and all that stuff they click on the buy button right then you potentially you have optionally an upsell page where maybe you're gonna you're gonna offer them something else right and then you have a thank you page right so over on this side right here where I have this right here I'm just kind of listing what has to be on that page you have to have a one step order section you have to add your product in your settings and you have to add the order bump if you want an order bump in there too on the upsell page again you got to add the product and you have to have add a button with a one click upsell downsell product and on the thank you page is basically a regular thank you page but you can have the order confirmation on the thank you page as well all right so the other thing that I'm showing right here in this section right here is basically where do you find these different things that you need you're going to need to and I know this sounds overwhelming and just to be honest with you I went through like hours of training just a couple in the last few days to kind of get the grasp of all this even me as a techie guy I'm like geez why is there all these things but once you understand it obviously it's it makes sense but for me it took a, I I would have liked to have just like a list you know ABC whatever do this this is what I did this is why I did this right so basically you need to have a product so you need to like this is almost the order that you need it 
you can't create an offer if you don't have a product right you can't really create a funnel to sell something if you don't have an offer and because you need the product to have the offer right so the so basically you need you need to have a product number one you need to have a product then you have to create an offer for that product now the offer is kind of like um uh, they've explained it like it's a box it's like a box that you put things in it right because you can have an offer that has multiple products you don't need it's not just one for one right that's why they separate it so you can have an offer that includes one product two products three products whatever and that's kind of how that works and now I'm kind of thinking to myself I sh maybe I should be putting together the offer for clicky course and active group users and this other thing that I've been working on but anyways whatever let's not worry about that <laughs> so let's just talk about what you need you need a form the form is where you put your name and email you can take that form and put it on any funnel so you can have multiple funnels that have the same form and you can use you can then you need to create a funnel and then you need a workflow so all these things like it's sounds like a lot right so let's actually go back to this I'm going to do that in this little document here I got a word a little notepad so I'm just going to kind of do that over here too I'm going to put that back right there so I'm going to say you need you need these so one a product a product you need a product number two an offer right number three um, a form number four a funnel and number five a workflow so these are the five things the five things you need to make this happen right like I said I know it sounds like a lot but if you follow along and you just pause the video as you go through or you can go through the digital mentors training where they basically talk about every single thing in separate little trainings um I don't know maybe I'll I'll do that too for me but I'm I'm just you know I'm just another person explaining the same thing just in my own way maybe it maybe it helps you right I don't know but um I have to do this for myself so I might as well do a video teaching how to do it as well at the same time right all right so the digital mentors site is here so when you first get to digital mentors um basically part of the incubator program you need to be part of the incubator program to have access to this unless they change it later on but if you're in the incubator program you have access to that if you're not then let me know and I can uh, guide you to become an incubator member right um okay but the point is that you need to come in here so we need to do these things so number one we need a product so let's let's go and create the product so how does that work so oh like I said whoops where's my like I said the product is under memberships courses products so let's put that in the notepad as well because it'll be easier to so go to member memberships then the courses tab then the whoops then the whoops the products products option all right so the offer is going to be in memberships and it's actually also in courses tab under offers the form is under sites forms the funnel is under funnels uh, no sites funnels sites funnels and the workflow is under automations workflows there okay so we're going to go to memberships courses products so under memberships right here courses right there and then products so uh products okay so I have products here on courses I have right that I can that I resell and other things I've done like active group research at here you membership so I'm just going to create a product right here and I'm just going to say right now I'm just going to do a build your own because for me I mean I might have I might put a video in there or whatever but for now all I want is to have a container that I can update later that I can then refer to so all I need to do is come in here and I'm going to call this um click ecourse account 
let's just call it click eCourse account or click eCourse let's call it click eCourse setup because then I'll I'll be able to put little videos in there to kind of teach to explain to people how to use that platform right so I'm going to just create product and for now I have a blank category blank post now I'm not going to go through the whole how to create a product in this platform um, there's trainings around that but basically um, all I need is that I the 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 course exists the product exists so that's just the one thing I need I need the product to exist all right so now it exists that's fine I don't really need to do anything else I don't think but if I do I'll go back but okay so the next thing I need an offer number two is I need an offer for that product right so for my in my case I'm trying to put together if I go to click ecourse right I want I'm putting together under plans here whoops plans oops I click courses too quick under plans I have you know the beginner plan the influencer plan the professional plan the extreme plan so I've got four plans on clicky course each of the plans are different prices right where's the prices where's the price oh there it is so here's the price right here so this is ten dollars a month thirty dollars a month then seventy five dollars a month or 150 a month so let's say that I'm going to create this um a special offer for this 150 dollars a month where somebody can come to the website and just say sign up for the 150 dollars a month but they got to pay 150 right now let's say that I want to give them a trial and I'm going to give them like three months of free use as long as they you know sign up and give me their credit card or whatever so that I can build them 150 after three months they'll get free three months instead of having to pay for it right now or just trying the trial account the free account so that's kind of what the goal is here so we're going to go in here and we're going to say okay so now we got to go to the offer so again it's under uh, memberships right here under courses and then we have um offers right so click on offers so I already have a whole bunch of other offers for each of the courses I have a couple of things for active group users so I'm going to say create an offer and I'm going to call this uh click e-course um three month extreme trial okay, I'm just going to call it that and it's going to be one product it's going to be the click I don't know if it's at the bottom or it's at the bottom right here click e-course setup right so that's going to be the product that they're going to get and the price is going to be a recurring price in for me I always use USD why is it not letting me change that oh I can't change it here I got to go back in the right so that's a separate issue uh that's independent of if you're in the U.S. you won't have this problem but me I want to charge in USD it won't let me change it here so I'm just going to put over here uh 150 it's not 150 Canadian but so we'll just fix it right here we're going to say it's monthly there's a 90 day trial period and I'm going to put 100 payments and price text override uh three months free then 150 a month okay so and then I'm going to say create so now I have the offer created right so now I've got the offer <coughs> created right here and it's got to be here and I'm going to put an image right here let's upload an image let's go up into click eCourse I think I have probably a click eCourse right here let's just put this is gif the gif the jpeg should it be which one is it this is the logo here I probably need to create a better image but I'm just going to use that and then I'm going to save it some, I gotta you gotta publish it right here you gotta set this to published otherwise uh you won't be able to use it you can also put things in here if you want I'm not for now I'm just going to leave it like that and I'm going to save it all right so now I have a published offer so if I go back to offers it puts the latest stuff for you up I edited up here on top right so it says 30 months free then okay so now actually this is not in my list of things I had here I have to go into here and then I have to um edit offer edit product in payments if you want usd okay so that's for me I got to do that 
so this is how that works you would come into uh, payments and under products up here in payments <clears throat> you're going to find the product you just created which is right here and I'm going to have to go and edit the price and delete it so under uh under prices right here you see how it's Canadian I can't change or anything I can add another price and I'm going to give it the same name and what I want is I want to change this to USD right here it's going to be 150 and it's going to be again I got to change the recurring right here monthly uh, trial period number of days so 90 days and I want to put 100 payments so this is and I'm just going to delete this one will be deleted when I save I forget if there's anything else enterprise description I don't know if that's what's it all oh, right I had the uh let's undo the delete and look at this oh there is no price description okay all right so the price description I think is supposed to be whoops what happened here oh he didn't add my other price I did the undo it undid my price add as well oh no it's right here there's the new one. Oh, I see no oh, okay okay sorry so that was because I didn't scroll down enough okay so let's just save this and now you're going to see that there's only one price in USD for me so this is the 150 USD right and monthly recurring there you go okay so and I'm I don't know if I, I'm going to put the file here I forget what this is I think this is like the um it's the uh stripe view of the of the product I'm not sure what that means but I think in your stripe in your stripe account you can actually have a stripe core uh store so I'm not anyways I think that's what that is I I look and I'll look into that at some other time but for now everything every single product I have in here is the products that exist in stripe and in paypal by the way uh, that's something you might need to do too you might need to integrate your uh payment so that's under uh, I think it's under settings mm, is it here integrations integrations right here settings integrations right you're gonna have to come in here and you're gonna have to click on the stripe thing right here you say you click on I, I don't know if it says uh continue when you first get there but it might say connect first like these ones but once you're once you're there the next screen next screen lets you uh, integrate nmi authorized net stripe and paypal right so for me I've already into, I've integrated both paypal and stripe so you just there's videos that explain how to do that but you need to do that otherwise you won't be able to create offers or at least that they won't show up in your products okay so uh now let's go back where what's the, what's next so we need a form a form is for the opt-in we want somebody to be able to put their email address for something right and maybe um maybe what I do here oh yeah that would make perfect sense so if I want them to try they can have an account that is going to give them 15 day trial right or they can get 90 days trial if they give me their credit card does not that, that sounds pretty good right so let's do that so this is how it's going to work so back into here you go to these sites and then under forms right here so the forms all it is is just like asking their name and email right kind of thing so over here we're going to say a click e-course trial I already have one I already have that form so we'll just open it to show you what it looks like which is basically a form where I ask their name their email and their phone number and I agree start free trial so now this I want to change that to well actually that's what I want I want it to be start free 15 day extreme trial now all right so if they give me their name and number I'm going to give them the trial so the click is going to activate your free trial and bon let's not put bonuses free trial trial, trial. so let's just uh fix that typo and there we go so you can, you can change the color and you know all these different things we're not going to bother with any of that I'm just going to save that right here 
and this is my click e-course let's edit that 15 day extreme let's call it that specifically right so save all right so now we have the form that's pretty straightforward right creating the form you need the form then we need a funnel so let's go create a funnel which has I think it would have four pages so if I go back here just click on back <coughs> again it's under sites and under funnels I don't know if it's loading is it loading oh, okay it was okay so funnels is where you have funnels now I, I created a bunch of them already I don't have a um click e-course one so I'm actually going to go into digital mentor starter funnels right here and I'm going to create um I'm going to copy one of these ones sales and checkout five steps I think that's the one I want let's take a look at this yes so clone this and I'm just going to call it click e-course 15 day trial plus 90 day offer there we go so now that's going to clone that funnel that they that they have as a starter funnel and I'm just going to go back into it and edit things in there right so so let's just uh move it oh not this one oh it's still building so I'm just reload this sometimes this doesn't refresh um right away but yeah let's do that oh you know what I'm actually going to do a snapchat right now as I'm recording this and uh just because I want to post a story on all my stories and I'm going to do that on here and uh I'll be right back all right so that's done so now let's keep going so what we did is I created this funnel here I want to move it I'm just going to come here I'm going to say move to folder I'm just going to move it to the root folder and then then we'll go edit it right okay so we got to create the funnel um and part of the process when I was talking about here is that inside of your order you have to have your product and inside of your upsell you have to have I didn't do an upsell are we going to do an upsell we'll see anyways for now let's just start with the, the funnel right so you click on it to open it up and I'm going to go just in the order page right here I'm going to say I'm not obviously I have to do lots of editing of this but for now I'm just going to do the basics so I know what's what and over here it's just going to say uh, uh, get free 15 day trial of extreme plan free click e-course account for 15 days instead of free account free extreme plan extreme plan okay let's just do that like this 15 days okay so this will say uh this will say where's the text so right here click to activate so now the other thing oh well I guess oh, that's the thing right it's not gonna be like so if I click the button I'm gonna need to I'm going to need to have another page in the middle that says oh, okay great you've got your yeah I'm, okay that's fine the other page is going to be like great you've got your free account it's activated right now you should have gotten an email uh but what if what about you no know, see getting 90 days if they don't use the account they're not going to know 
so how can I make it so that they do one or the other free okay let's do that free 90 day 90 day trial of extreme plan free extreme plan click eCourse account for 90 days so let's do this this will be click to click to activate so only pay 150 after 90 days okay so this is only right so we want to do that all right so we're already at 25 minutes in so let's try to get so this will be like you know the image let's just change this image to uh, so let's just change this put that there not going to worry about this for now and okay so I can probably fill all this stuff in but for now I'm going to say click to activate this will take me to the the order page so let's actually save this and go back to the um to the funnel pages so the funnel pages I want I'm going to need to have a I'm going to need to have a no thanks just give me the 15 days now right because that's what we want we want them to either you know set up their their thing for that or so this will be that there's going to be a checkout page here so let's add a new page and we'll call it uh, just just 15 days okay so we're going to call it just 15 days so 15 days and create funnel step and I'm going to just create from blank I'm just going to add a I'm just going to add a this will just be a simple thank you page add a one column row and we're going to add a heading okay your free 15 day trial is active okay so then we want another bit of text here check your inbox for activation link watch video for next steps okay and then we're going to add another well I guess we can make a new section and then here we're going to add a single let's make it a single column and we're going to add a video so video video so I'm not going to do the save it right now but this will be the video for the you know thanks and whatever so let's just save that and go back and this step here we want it as the well it doesn't really matter it could be the last step yeah that's fine it'll stay right here so So now we have the funnel it's almost created uh, so we got this right here so what I want is in the sales page this is not going to be a sales page it's going to be clicky course 90 day offer specific so that's what we click e course 90 day so we're just going to save that right okay so I want to rename this page uh, how do I rename oh, no settings over right here so this will be the um, initial so welcome let's call it welcome page so this will be click e-course welcome okay 
all right so those are just the endpoints whenever the system is navigating between the pages and stuff that so you can have, have unique ids there unique unique urls based on your domain but anyways that's so right now what i want here is i want this page to have a, a you know go ahead and go to the offer page this will take me to the next page which is where they're going to be able to buy the 90 the buy, put their credit card number in for the 90 days right so I'm going to add something here add another button where's the buttons the buttons button button right here I'm going to say this one is going to be uh this will be no thanks just give me the 15. I don't I probably don't need it there why why may why do I complicate things let's not even worry about it so this is going to be here click to activate which will take me to the next funnel that's fine so let's just save that like this and then go back over here <coughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to um the next page right we want to edit the next page which is where the offer is so in inside the offer right like I said we have to have this is going to be the next page so this is the first page right here this is the actual offer page where you have to buy it and they're going to be like oh I don't want to put my credit card in they'll be able to skip to the uh, to the end page where they don't have to put their but they need just to put their email address right okay so one step order right here so that means I have to come in here and go to this is page number two right I'm gonna go into products right here and I want to add the product that I created here which will be the clicky course three month extreme plan okay so the price create a new price uh, oh the selection there's only one price okay and then extreme trial product name product display override advanced options make main product okay so that's fine I gotta oh custom authorization why is this here so would the product be the bump oh I guess I had I if you open that let's do it again if I add this okay and then just save I guess when you click the additional options it forces you to put something in that in that box there okay so now we have the product added to the funnel itself so if I go back to the overview right here and I come in here oh edit the edit the page <clears throat> so now I can see the click equals offer in here well not really see it but it's it's there so now what I want to do is here is I want to remove some things that I don't need right so I got the item I guess the default is set to be what I need I don't because you know inside of here under advanced there's a bunch of stuff you might be able to hide there is something I wanted to sticky enable terms I don't need coupon codes product description I think I need that why is that not there I don't need a cart mode okay I think that's that's fine for now <clears throat> so over here is going to be the again the same thing I want to change the image this image here is going to be the same image as we had earlier and this is going to be click e-course click e-course 90 day extreme trial then 150 a month okay I don't think I need this right here necessarily so 90 day let's just say 90 day extreme trial then 150 a month okay like that <coughs> what you get blah 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 place your order and then okay so then what I want is I want to add a button down here uh, yeah let's put it down here and it's going to be a button and this is going to be 
just give me 15 days without my credit card okay so then I want to make the <coughs> this color I want it to be uh, no color what are these are these trans make it white and then the text the text color is going to be blue <coughs> all right so this is okay there you go so now I have and now what I want is this button here I want it to go to a specific step it has to go to the last step which is just 15 days there we go so now when somebody comes to this page they can actually spec they can actually do the 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 the, the 150 a month for three months they get three months free right or so let's delete this uh delete this okay so that's it here save it again now the only thing is maybe uh they'll want to come back here but uh, well, let's, let's not worry about it for now okay so that's that there and company name we don't need that oh that's one thing see over here in the order I can actually go in advanced I don't need the company name so uh, where is it company whoops I'm not on the right I'm not on the right thing so company name I don't need it show company name hide it there we go so now it's gone right phone number I don't need the phone number phone number hide phone number I don't want to have to you know put anything other than that minimize so that people don't feel they can't you know do it right okay so that's our our order so now let's go back and we have our <coughs> we have our confirmation page which is a kind of like the thank you page as well but that's basically it right you got that's that's the basics of it right you have to you have to have a product so you need to just put the product in place so you can refer to it you can change it after if I want to add stuff to it I can I can add videos and all sorts of things and then I have to have an offer which is basically tied to that product and then I need a form and oh let's show you the form let's show you the form so over here order confirmation is just going to be the confirmation of the order and I could probably add a thank you on this and uh, go back into here and I'm going to add something here add a row add an element um, watch video for next steps right and then I can just add a well actually let's just add a video right here there we go video uh, there's the video <clears throat> and then we're just gonna remove this we don't want the logo there we go save all right so now we have the thank you page with the video that says you know next steps whatever right and the only thing left now is in the in the final um the final not the final with the 15 day one we just have to add the form in there because they want to do the 15 day thing instead so we go to the 15 days right here we don't need these two pages but they could be used for other things so this page I'm just going to come in here and oh no right I just did a thank you this is just a thank you aha so that's not I need oh, let's go back here <clears throat> so then I need a, a page with a form on it <clears throat> that'll take me to the thank you page so let's just um 15 day let's call it the 15 day opt-in right so again I got to create a new step right here and we're going to call it the 15 day opt-in slash 15 day opt-in 
and we're going to create the funnel step <coughs> and this one here actually let's move it up here and this one is not just 15 days this will be 15 day thank you come back here it'll be the 15 day thanks so let's just say 15 day thanks okay <clears throat> and the just the 15 day opt-in is going to be the one where we're going to ask them to um, put their email address in because they we need an account an email address to activate an account right so we're just going to create a full width here we're going to add a one column row we're going to add an element here which will be a headline so enter your name and email to activate your account okay so we could have a pop-up and things like that but right now this is going to be a very simple one so we're going to add another section and we're going to add a one column row and we're going to add a form so under here we go form and then you just select the form which is going to be the click ecourse 15 day extreme trial was it 15 or 90 days all right should all right that is 15 right because it's the uh, so there you go so now it's going to see like this start your 15 day extreme plan and this then then when they enter the form what's it going to do it's going to go to the next page and then, you know obviously it could be more than that but I'm just going to do this and that's it that's it right there so now we have our whole thing the only thing left is the workflows now we because we did a 15 day free trial and a 90 day credit card trial where we would need two workflows but I'm just going to create the one workflow to kind of show you how that works so we have all these done now so now what we got to do is we got to go into automation uh yes automation so automations and workflows right so automation and workflows so over here I'm going to create a new workflow and I'm just going to say start from scratch and I'm going to call this oops I'm going to call this click ecourse 15 day free extreme extreme plan all right so the trigger what is going to be the trigger so this trigger here is going to be form it's going to be a form submitted and we're going to I'm going to call it 15 day trial click e-course trial submitted okay just like that add filter because otherwise you're going to trigger on every single form you got to put a specific form here form is and I'm going to select my form right here click e-course 15 day extreme trial and that's it I'm going to save that and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a um, in my case it's a webhook so I'm going to do a webhook right here and it's got to go to the clicky course 15 day trial uh, so if I go into my API keys here that's because I'm the owner of the site but if you have uh, a course that you have on clicky course you can actually give people a course using this API so under API keys I'm going to look at this key here do I have one that's for five days I don't think so I'll see pro three months pro four months let's open the plans so there's professional extreme okay so we don't have a key for extreme so I'm gonna create a key I gotta and I'll, I'll be right back all right so I created the API key right here whoops over here um 15 day extreme plan obviously I'm not going to show you the key and everything but basically if I click on that it shows me the actual URL with the key and the secret and then I go back in here and I paste that in here um and there's some there's the end of it says but anyways I'm, that's not <coughs> I can't show you the details here but basically oh we should have renamed it so this would be uh click 
e course 15 day extreme so that's going to basically give the person with the email a 15 day extreme plan and it's also going to send an email with the activation key so I can probably just do that um, and um, then that's it I save it but then I want to publish it because if it's not published it won't do anything so if I publish it now whenever somebody submits their email and clicks that button on that funnel this will run we can do the same thing with the other one which is going to be a 90 day extreme plan it'll just do the exact same thing I'm actually going to do that right now but this one will be different because can I clone these I'm not sure if I can clone workflows click ecourse 15 day a duplicate okay yes I can so this will be 90 day extreme plan <clears throat> and then we do this and now this one is going to have uh, 90 days instead of 15 so I can just come in here and edit this uh, put 90 days right here and then at the end of this url is where I put the uh, the 90 days so I'll just pause and come back and there we go so we've got 90 days now so now the only thing here is that the trigger is not the same trigger so I'm going to remove this trigger delete this trigger and I'm going to add a new trigger which is going to be whenever a course is a product is purchased right so product access granted product or no it's order I think order submitted there we go so when this order is submitted uh, the order is order submitted add a filter it's going to be standard products and the product is going to be my clicky course three month extreme trial there you go so that's so that will make it so it triggers whenever they you know buy this product right and there we go so that's the trigger right here and then I again publish it and save it and there we go so now I have my funnel set up I have my I have my product created I have the offer created I have a form I have a funnel with the the form in it with the order in it and then I have the two workflows that I needed because I did two different things um, now in the workflows you can add emails and all sorts of other things but right now we just activated the account right and uh and and so yeah so that's kind of what that's kind of what we kind of went through not exactly exactly this but you know this hopefully gives you an idea of how to create a funnel with a product with an offer a sales funnel in the digital mentors new hub all right until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time